So anyways, here's the tarp. You know, before it was a plow point it was in. There's the cooksa, stove, stuff. Little chips in there. There you go. This is just stuff, you know, uh, stuff for a ridge line and a uh, little toggle I'm going to put in there. But this is just a little trekking pole. And uh, it's in it quite well. You can see it's, it's pretty tight. So this line comes down here. So I widen this up really nice. So this tarp is just fine. You know, it's and it's really well made. So comes down here. That's pegging stuff I had in there. I want to peg it up there. But basically, I wrapped it on the bottom here. Just came down and wrapped these in the bottom and up and around. Just a little one overhand there. And that's fine. Yeah. You know. And again, you know, it's this is square, so you can make it any way you want. But this is fine. Just a little stump. I got a an old simple fairy gear stove here. I'm gonna chainsaw some shreds. This one I don't want it to cook too much. I put this in the bottom. They don't make these anymore. They do have things that come with it, but I made this out of the top. Put it on bricks because it's a lot of fire. Now normally I would just light this right up with my uh <clears throat> so I only use these ones. Give me some of these. Um, fire plugs they work good so I'm just gonna use that uh, two kinds of tea here normally I would just put I, I got a pint of water I would use one tea bag so I got the Yorkshire here I got a mods I use a mods tonight this afternoon but, uh, And just so you know, if you're on a trail, wherever you are, don't, don't leave your tea bag like that when the fire, or, you know, on your pot, it'll, it'll start a fire. So just uh, keep it out of the way or burn it. Be careful with that. Uh, I'm pouring plenty of water in here right now. It's a big, heavy birch stump I'm sitting on. I want it as a chair. Seems pretty good. Seems like rain is, is going to come in. Uh, it's windy. Wind's coming from the northwest. But, uh, of course, I made uh, this bag is not lunch. It's uh, by wood chips. Got twigs and stuff. It makes food all the time, so I got bags of chips. All bags of chips. I use it in my wood stuff, too. But, uh, Gonna get this going. This fire plug, I spread it out a little bit, and you could dip this in water. It too. I'm not gonna do that for right now. But uh, yeah, I'll stick it in here. I'll get this going. I'll show you some stuff. I always carry this in my pocket all the time. Doesn't matter where I am. I'll carry some other protective item in here. Tar picks. Uh, uh, that is. Swiss Army knife. But anyways, I got some stuff in here. A chapstick that goes good with the uh, cotton. Got a lighter. Got a fat wood. Swiss Army knife. Matches or match piece. Sometimes I put the Yuko matches in there, but just find a little piece of uh, bank line in here. Um, a fair rod. Get that out. And uh, spare key in the truck. I got some more cotton in my pocket. But I don't put the chapstick on there unless I need it. Cotton will like it, though. 
keep that in there. And uh, there's also a uh, E38 can opener. They say ever caught get caught in New York City, I can liberate some canned goods. Yes. We take a boat up to Hudson and get back to Canada. I'll liberate a boat too. That's if I can walk to it. Tough walking to adapt. And uh, yeah. I mean it looks like I'm uh Poor, as my grandfather would say, a poor invalid, as Irish accent. Um, cut my own firewood. I split most of it by hand. I'm still doing that. A little slower, it takes a little longer. But I still do that, so I'm not as bad as you think I am. But the knees are pain in the neck, but they get better. Though. Yeah, I always carry this stuff. Always, always. No matter what I do. I'm at a party, even like uh, a couple nights ago, we had a, yeah, you got a knife, huh? I need a knife. Oh, it's open something up. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to, um, oops. Right, well, in the truck, I got everything. I can help a lot of people. But, uh, yeah, now, and this is a nice knife sharpener, and it does throw a little spark or something, but, um, I'm not going to use that this time. I'm just going to use. Uh, this, this thing. Oh, I already put it down. Okay. There, I'm going to put it down. And I put the fire plug in there. Let's leave this out. Um, got this stuff here. I got some twigs. And this 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 pot holds 1.2 liters. Creek Stewart sells something like that, Pathfinder might, I don't know. But um, I got that, but I'm only going to drink like a pint of tea. And I'm going to have cherries because I'm trying to cut down a, a, you know, too much meat. But, uh, the wind, it's kind of windy. Got to be careful. Now, this is my more of 545. I use it for, for uh, with the spoons a lot, actually. Does not have a 90 degree spine, but I did put one on it to try it. I have a better one in my pocket, but let's, uh, let's see. Yeah, it'll be all right. I did put a 90 degree spine. It's just a very good knife for spoons. Sharp, it's cut, very cheap and expensive. I got it worn so you can see it. So let's get this going. There we go. First spark that actually hit it, it got going. So, in pretty good shape there. And then we'll uh, put some stuff on there. Now you see how that got going good. Plus, I have the uh, when ooh, that gone. So this thing really gets going. But um, I got some shavings from my uh, chainsaw when I do a horizontal cut. Get these. Pearls. I get all this from the, from the uh, naked spoons. A lot of people don't like these Mora uh, knife sheets, but I like them because you know you got a hole here, the water drains, you can wash it out. Um, I've used the uh, 511 for actually cutting the meat up. Um, on the deer. Not cutting the deer, but just processing the meat works pretty good. I haven't used this one that, but it's good for spoons. But uh, yeah, this is just stuff from around the yard. Here it went. But this tank's good. I just put a, a little trekking pole on the end here, open it up a bit here. And down on, I'll show you the peg, basically, when I ran the line down, I ran it in the bottom, the line's coming down like this, and ran it in the bottom, then up, over, and around, it just ties on nice. Uh, coal cracker has nice video on that. Really works well. Nothing fancy. But, uh, I'm behind my house, so, I got so much bat, so many, you know, the wood, 
season is down now, so um, it's not the bags. I make spoons all the time, so this is just uh, I got bags and bags of this stuff. Very nice. Throw some in your pack. You're good to go, man. See, this is what I'm talking about, the fire. If, if, if you're camping somewhere, you don't need to build, build a big campfire. Just have a, a little folding stove, a little stove like this, and you uh, just work through the stand, the stand system. And uh, you can see waypoints arrival on that. Um, Got to watch the wind. You know, let's just... Uh, Day. It's windy. It was much cooler before, a little more humid now, but it seems like a storm is trying to come in. But uh, that's okay. But you know, right here, you see the edge of the shelter here, the top of it. So it was a claw point, but I raised it up over here. Give you a lot of room. I'm liking this tarp. I wanted to try it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to change it out in one of my packs. Try to go light as possible. Um, also bought a, maybe three, four years ago, I bought a, what they call a pack wheel. Hunters use them a lot out west. Pack their meat out from the Alps and stuff like that. You don't have to put a lot of weight on your knees or anything. It just looks like a fancy bike, but only one wheel. It has packs and you can uh, do a lot of stuff with it. But yeah, we'll get this tea going. This won't take long to cook at just burned up some of these tweaks there. Yep. I like this simple Theory Gear stove. Uh, it's it's running pretty good right now. With this in, it slows it down a little bit when you put this in at the bottom. And you can flip it over and use it for alcohol stoves too. So if you see it around, somebody might sell one or something. Trade with them or whatever. Stuff sticks in here too. <clears throat> now just remember, no matter where you're from in the world, if they have a fire hazard warning, listen to it. It's big time. Because uh, there is no, no game. You know, up in Canada, we got tons of fires up there. It's still going right now, as far as I know. We had some problems with the smoke down here. This is New England. But uh, yeah, I, I think I might just throw this on there now. It should, shouldn't take too long to, uh, to cook up. Put that on there. <clears throat> but I'm very happy with this uh, shelf. Really oh, nice there. Bags I made from stuff around here. You're making a lot more. Oops, a bloody tank. But that's just a good uh, settling a bit. Out. Yep. Don't have to worry about it. Actually, I have a thing here, so that'll cook up in no time. Then I have some nice cherries from Washington State on my cooks. Um, sometimes I like to show you what I got. And some people they have things I always like to know what they carry. With. Tarp's all set. I got uh, 36 camp line on the edges. There's grommets on here, but you know, there's only uh, grommets on the four corners. I can. I don't think I need one. I could put more on there if I want, but I'm going to leave it like that. Okay. And we're trucking full, and uh, it's opened up really nice now. See, so you got a fire like this. You do whatever you have to do. I can even bring this in probably under a little bit as long as it doesn't get out of control. 
And uh, even if it's raining, you'd be fine. If you want to build a little shelter in the, in the front, that's even better. Or a little tarp or some small tarp. And uh, that's all you need. So you're not killing yourself getting firewood all day. And uh, always dress. I'm older now, so I don't get out like I used to. But I, I've been around. I've done a lot of things. Um, always dress like you're not going to have fire. You're not going to have anything. Be ready for any of the elements. So, <clears throat> any time of year. So, this won't take long. And then we'll just have a nice cup of tea. <clears throat> so I cut this stump because this is going to go in my teepee. Uh, I was going to shape it out and make it lighter and everything else, but I may not do that. This is just a perfect height to get up and down. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. It's my, well, it's second, like the second cooks I made. This is out of uh, cotton. So, I'll show you. My dog is right here. Must be a fire somewhere. <clears throat> My fair rod. I gotta make sure I put it back in the container, put this back in my uh, pouch. I don't think there's anything in there like if you go to a concert. Man. I do have a Swiss Army knife in there, I'm going to a concert uh, tomorrow. Morning. But um, I might take the Swiss Army knife out. Other than that, it's fun. You know, people don't like it. Bringing knives and weapons and lots of stuff. The rest will stay with me. And I, uh, I do use a cane a lot, and that could be used for, uh, especially when I sit up and down and I have to go up the stairs, it helps me a lot. And also, it could be used for self defense too. You have to uh, see Matt possibly. But uh, yeah, kind of. <coughs> I was going down a bit. <clears throat> Pick it up a little bit. <clears throat> must be a fire somewhere. Something. Yeah, that's, yeah, it is a fire somewhere. Yeah, most of us do, we just cut through with the sire, you know? My father was a fire. 32 years. It's just, uh, oh yeah, she's going good, man. He's going good. Yeah, she's just about ready. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, there's, uh, I need, <clears throat> my son will bought these for me, so I just figured these, uh, these little fire plugs work pretty good. Of course, I had great tinder. I didn't need these, but, uh, yeah, one one little spark gets at the first spark to hit. Well, it's really well, and I know they work in a wet weather, so it's quite good. I have some in some of my packs. Yeah, this is, I could drink this now. But, uh, Lot of stuff left in there. Let's see when we when I take this off and keep it going a little bit. I've got some stuff here. I mean it's ready now. So yeah, it's below. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. <clears throat> very good. Very active I got 
white mulberry here, some red there, and some real, a real nice uh, red mulberry over there. And I've been uh, picking the last few days. So I'm all set. I'm in good shape. So do, what do I have planned? I have planned the end, end of August. I'm going to do some modern camping, and I'm going to test some old-style canvas to set up out there while I'm there. Check out some new stuff. I'll probably take this. Uh, depends on the weather. Um, where we did our winter uh, rendezvous camp out right in that area. Uh, so it's nice. Uh, probably... Uh, but before that, thinking about maybe a little canoe voyage. Uh, but um, then a couple things in September, get out my hammock. I'll probably be in my hammock in that August too. But, uh, yeah, so this is boiling. This is fine. I'm going to uh, boil this right here. Steaming. This is a, a little hot there, man. A little hot. I like that pot it's very good. It's nice and white on the bottom, so it heats up really nice. But uh, nice cup of tea. Yeah. This is an azalea stump. Chopped it all one up out there. Threw that in there. Oh. oh, that's good, man. Right, low tea, very low tea. Got my uh, nice cherries here. Mm -hmm. That's good stuff, man. Just finished making a cook, so well, it didn't go as deep as I wanted. Man, stuff like cast iron. But, uh, come on, man. just made a birch spatula with a little pork on the end of it. And, uh, another cherry spatula. I'm always doing something. I made a whole bunch of pine stuff. I have a lot of spoons I have to mark. Like mark which is broken shoes and snowshoes. Uh, <clears throat> very odd sized piece of canvas I have is a 9x6. <clears throat> but that's a nice hem all the way around it. So I don't hear it like that. I'm probably going to put at least eight 
tie offs on it. Uh, the more the merrier, a lot more money. But uh, we'll do that. There's a lot of things I want to do or have to do. Nice. Harp, nice here. I mean, I showed you in the beginning a little bit, but you didn't see this up here a little bit. You should remember, on the peg, rope comes down, wrap it on the bottom, up, wrap it again. That holds it in, that last wrap there, tied off. Right. The tracker pole is holding pretty good. It's on the manual, so it's about that. It's very windy, too. So. Probably let this burn out. Wash it, stay here. Now, I'll probably post this pretty soon. Let me put this out there. I mean, it's town and country. Uh, John Morris, I'm country. Haven't seen him on Instagram. Haven't seen him on YouTube. I do have his address. I send him some stuff. Um, if anyone knows anything happened, I hope nothing happened. I, I know sometimes there is health issues. Um, just kind of let me know. You know, drop me a line on uh, this video. Or anything. I tried to drop him on one of his. But, uh, so I'm just a little concerned with that. Something might happen. I may send a card over there so I can see what's going on. Over the weekend. But, uh, so, let me just. I'm going to have some more. Yeah, this is cool. I'm going to drink this whole thing. No problem. Yeah, so that's what we're doing here. So I'm just going to show you this now, the way it is now, real quick, and uh, wrap this up. Did I plan this? Uh, not really, but I've been wanting to put this up, so. Yes, my fair rod. It's Quinny Esmo fair rod. Um, peace, freedom. Keep your eyes on the sky. We're doing fine. I have my teeth finished cherries. We're doing good. Take care. <laughs>